Hi, and welcome to Adventures with Alexia. Today I am at the E. Modinari Festival at the historic Santa Barbara Mission in beautiful Santa Barbara, California. E. Modinari is a Santa Barbara creation and tradition since 1987. I am here today to see these wonderful sponsored street paintings that benefit the Children's Creation Fund. Come with me! Hi and welcome to Adventures with Alexia. Today we are at the Santa Barbara Mission, you can see it in the background, and we are here to check out E. Modinari. Look at chalk paintings, talk about the history of E. Modinari, and have fun. Come with me. E. Modinari is a Santa Barbara creation taken from Italy. It coincides with the original festival from Italy too. It is held on Memorial Day weekend every year. The area that we're looking at right here, this little portion right here, is an area where businesses can buy a square and sponsor artists to do um, chalk paintings in the squares. And also, I, ha I want to mention that um, schools also sponsor squares as well and um, often have the art class or you know students from their school do art in the squares as well and we'll take a closer look at all that stuff a little bit later. There's also ones done by big artists and this one is the featured artist chalk painting. So one thing that you'll notice when I go around um, taking uh, videos of these chalk paintings is you will see a um, on top you'll see um, a name of a business or a cause or an organization and you'll know that that's who sponsored it according to the name on top. So we're actually pretty much here when everybody first starts doing their paintings and it is a Saturday. I think um, it's probably better if you want to see paintings done to come on a Sunday or even a Monday or even after Imadinari. They keep these paintings as long as they last so you know basically Mother Nature destroys the paintings so you could pretty much come anytime even like the next weekend to look at all of it. The idea of E. Modinari and the creation was conceived and introduced by Kathy Corey. Corey, a native of Santa Barbara, visited Italy and admired their chalk paintings in front of the cathedrals. She brought the idea back to the Children's Creative Project where she worked knowing the arts and schools were falling by the wayside. This is my friend Amber. I used to ride horses with her, and she's the one doing the beautiful Amber Rose Studios painting. And um, so, why did you choose this photo? Yeah, so this is actually a photo of my daughter. Oh. And so she is sitting at a potter's wheel. Uh huh. And so I actually I teach children ceramics. Oh, nice. And uh, so I really wanted to do this uh, piece about the magic with children and like their belief in magic and how like the impossible is possible and like that sense of wonderment that they have oh, that nice. I really, really love. That I feel like a lot of like our society 
like I don't know we all kind of lose it as we get older yeah a little bit right yeah so I just really wanted to celebrate those moments of magic so she's sitting at a potter's wheel and she is um, she's throwing like a ball of clay and so the on on the bottom it's still you know kind of like this piece of clay but like as she's throwing it on the wheel it's transforming into the earth oh beautiful. and so like by the top it'll be you know wet earth you know with water splashing so it's this whole idea of like you know shaping the earth having that belief that the impossible is possible like that magic of that transformation and like celebrating that moment so magical oh my gosh I can't wait to see the finished product do you have like a mock-up of the oh it's over yeah, there oh I showed that already I can't wait to see it finished yeah I can't wait. me too <laughs> if you want to come see it come out to Imadanari and yes. uh, check it out because the paintings will be out here for a while until mother nature until, destroys it exactly exactly <laughs> Yay. live and let go thank you for sure, sharing it with sure. us uh, this is what they use they use chalk to paint the ground with the, lots of different colors. The charity enlists local businesses and individuals to sponsor the chalk paintings. E. Madinari draws around 25,000 people a year to view the chalk paintings. I, th I think this was painting. this was last year's features painting. And then uh, I think she was the artist, and this is her painting this year. Was was this your painting last year? Yeah. Oh, so this is the artist that did last year's feature painting. <laughs> Okay, so this was last year's artist. What's your name? Hi, uh, my name's Dawn Morrison Wagner, and I was the 2022 featured artist. So this year I'm doing an eight foot by 12 foot piece sponsored by the Santa Barbara Mission. Well, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, do you have any other than it's sponsored by the mission any more information about this piece of art well what was kind of special this year 2023 the mission um, is has, has a um, Michelangelo Sistine Chapel exhibit that opened yesterday so they requested a piece from the Sistine Chapel so this year I'm doing the Libyan Sybil um, which in real life she is three times life size so I'm excited because it's my first time uh, drawing this piece Nice, thank you so much for that information. Nice to meet you. In 2006, Kathy and the Children's Creative Project were instrumental in bringing this painting festival to Santa Barbara's sister city, Poita Vallarta. In 2014, the Children's Creative Project included and provided visual and performing arts education to and now serves 5,000 students in 94 public schools. Okay, now we're getting into the school section. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. They have, uh, looks like monarch butterflies here. And the, I like, I think that the students that do the art always just do such a fabulous job at places like this. Oh, Montessori school. So cute. Wow, beautiful. Crane Country School. Oh wow, this is gorgeous too. Kids are working hard.
this is the information and where you can get, you can borrow and buy chalk here and buy a square for kids so they can do their own square and have fun. We're just about done filming, but we're gonna walk over and we're gonna um, look at the, the little chalk squares that the kids can rent for $15. I have rented squares when I was little because I grew up here and it's just so much fun to be a kid and be able to display your art along with the famous artists here at Imadanari. And this is the this is basically the area they put you over here and, and then you can in your little 8x8 eight eight square you can uh, draw whatever you want. I think it's so much fun to be a kid and get involved and um, be able to display your own fun art. Who knows, some of these kids that are drawing on the pavement here will be our future professional artists for future e -modinaries. vendors and food, help raise money. <laughs> Looks like they've got posters. I think these are all the past, yeah, these are all the past Imadanari featured artist paintings, posters. That's cool. That was last year's. Oh no, this was last year's. And beautiful. I mean, all the artists have done just, they pick really amazing artists as the future artists. And you can buy the posters, note cards, postcards, magnets, DVDs, coloring books. Yeah. And small, large, and small coloring books. And here's some of the postcards and cards they have. about the chalk festival and the artist that did the piece. Nice, thank you. You can also ent enter in a raffle. And those are the different prizes that you can get in the raffle. So according to the volunteers, these are this, these pictures on the tote bags and the t-shirts are the past art from last year. And it looks like they picked some really great, awesome pictures to, to put on the t-shirts. Very nice. And they have adults and kids t-shirts. And this is their display right here of the shirts and the aprons and the tote bags. That wraps up my day here at E Madanari in Santa Barbara, California. If you're ever here during Memorial Day weekend, this is a great place to come with your family, have fun, buy a chalk square for your kids, if you have small kids, and let them draw. Come out, check out the art, have fun, enjoy food, enjoy the festival. It's here 
Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and the art pretty much lasts as long as Mother Nature allows it to last. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and the notification button to, so you can know when my new videos come out. Thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate all my viewers who watch my videos. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks.